Okay, guys, I'm back. Here we are. The time has come. The, the alarm finally went off about uh, time to remove this outer bandage here. Um, just to recap real quick, uh, if you've seen the previous videos, uh, I recently had a procedure to remove uh, skin cancer. I had melanoma right here on my face. They had to remove what was a pretty small spot and uh, they have to do a significant incision because of the clearance or margin requirements that they have for uh, the type of melanoma cancer that I had on my face. So the surgery was two days ago and I am about to remove this outer bandage for the first time and see how things look underneath of it. Uh, the paperwork said to wait 48 hours, so it's been 49 hours, and here we go. I'm about to take this thing off, and we're going to see what's underneath of it together. Um, I'm pretty sure that you know, down this way here, we're probably going to see some dried blood, because there was a little bit here in my mustache the other day, so I'm assuming that there will be some under this white bandage here, but uh, here we go. Let's see what happens. I'm doing this looking into the camera. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely a little tender. Let's see how we're doing. And try to get under this. It's looking good so far. Put these stitches. Boy, it's really on there good. There we go. Looking good. I thought we'd be able to see more uh, or see through the other steri strips or whatever those bandages are a little better, but. This is what we got. Let's see. I'm pleased with what I see here. I look off to the side here into this mirror. Let's see if I can get a better view for myself here. Yeah, it's looking good. There's a little bit of a uh, little bit of blood on the uh, you know down here on this area here. I'll have to clean that up here in a little bit, but um, so far so good. Feels good to get the pressure off of my eye. The, the bandage, that was a pressure bandage. Um, it felt like it was kind of pushing, just bringing uh, an old man bag up, kind of pushing it into my eyeball. But uh, there we go. Two more weeks, or I guess uh, 12 days, I can get the, the stitches out. So this stuff here stays in place, and it's supposed to be all waterproof, and I can shower with it and everything else. So looking forward to that. Um, but the, according to the doctor instructions, these... Uh, these bandages here stay in place and I don't do anything, no cream, lotion, no nothing until uh, I get the stitches removed and at that time is when they do the uh, uh, removal of this tape also. So this stuff stays on there for the entire two weeks and then the doctor removes it at the same time as the stitches. Um, doctor also mentioned that I should put cream on it that numbing cream that I talked about in the previous video, he mentioned that I should put that stuff on there before getting the stitches out. Uh, because the, you know, obviously if you'd seen the other pictures, the, the stitch style is very tight and it's that tension, uh, tension stitching. Uh, so there's a whole lot of stitches in there. It makes perfect sense that I'd want to numb it out before getting those removed. But I gotta figure out if I'm supposed to remove this tape ahead of time and numb it or bring that numbing cream with me and use that before 
uh, removing the stitches in the office. So we'll have to see what they say about that. I'll, I'll check with the doc on that one. Uh, but that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, this is it. This is what we got going on here. Day two, uh, about 49 hours after surgery. My eyes are a little, a little black. Um, definitely feels a little better getting that bandage out of there so that that bottom eyelid can relax a little bit. Um, that's it. Have a great night.